You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. First National Banking Company. Get checking that pays with Super Plus Checking at FNBC. Alleged truck thief confesses. Cooperation over state line leads to recovery and arrest the next day. By Lauren Siebert. A stolen 2008 Ford F-250 was recovered on December 2 at 3.30 p.m. near a Casey's convenience store in Thayer, Mo, after it was reported on December 1 to have been stolen from Jim's auto sales in Hardy, sometime after closing November 30. Cooperative police work between the two departments has often been the key to solving a case. Recently, in October, a theft at Hirsch's farm supply in Thayer was solved after Hardy Police Chief Ernie Rose spotted the suspect vehicle in Hardy after a bolo beyond the lookout alert from the Thayer Police. In this case, Chief Ernie Rose put out a statewide bolo and, after Sharp County Chief Deputy David Huffmaster spotted the vehicle and identified the suspect, it was Missouri's Oregon County Sheriff George Underwood, who was able to hold the suspect on a Missouri charge. We helped them solve their case a while back, and got the guy who was at Hirsch, Chief Rose said, so they kind of helped us out on this one, cooperation between departments can sometimes make a difference. Chief Rose was first notified of this theft on the morning of December 1 by Wesley Miller at Jim's Auto, who noticed the truck was missing, when he arrived at work that morning. After checking to see if the truck might have been moved to his father's car lot, he was informed the vehicle was not there either, and he then contacted the Hardy police. When Hardy Police Chief Ernie Rose arrived, he noticed a window had been broken on the east side of the building, and the window was open 3 to 4 inches. The blinds had also been opened on a north window, possibly to let light in to locate the keys hanging on the east wall, without turning on the lights. Miller told Chief Rose he found the keys in disarray, not like he left them the night before, but that only the keys to that specific truck were missing. Miller also stated that, even though there were several other items of value in the office, nothing else had been disturbed. Trooper Jeremy Connor assisted Chief Rose in filing the statewide bolo, which was entered into the NCIC system by the Sharp County Sheriff's Office. At the same time, while Sharp County Deputy David Huffmaster was passing through there, he spotted the tan 2008 Ford F-250 in a vacant parking lot next to Casey's, and spoke with a witness, who helped lead to the identification of the operator of the stolen vehicle, Cody Ty McCann. After Oregon County Sheriff George Underwood advised the operator, McCann, of his constitutional rights, McCann signed the Miranda Rights form, and confessed to stealing the truck from Hardy, Ark. On December 1, further stating that he and a friend planned the trip to Hardy to steal the truck, and that he would pay his friend $2,000 for the truck, when they got back to Missouri. The accomplice will remain unnamed, as the case is still under investigation. He's being investigated, until we do our own investigation we don't know if it is true, Chief Rose said. McCann was charged in Missouri, with tampering with a motor vehicle in the first degree, a Class C felony with a $10,000 bond. As Missouri held McCann on their charge, Chief Rose had time to file for a warrant before McCann was able to bond out. McCann is on the hold until he can be extradited to the Sharp County Sheriff's Department. If he had been in Arkansas we could have incarcerated him on the spot, Chief Rose said, but, because he was in Missouri we had to get our warrant issued and served before he bonded out. A warrant for arrest was issued in Sharp County, charging potential defendant McCann with theft of property, a Class C felony. Because he crossed state lines, he made things worse on himself, Chief Rose said. Now he has to stand in court in Missouri and Arkansas on felony charges. Thanks for listening to Spring River Chronicle, audio on the go. Be sure to subscribe to the paper and check us out online at myspringriver.com.